everybody welcome back doing a character review video the red guardian i uh, recently did the yelena belova video and now it's time for her skilletary partner who's coming in snm partner well that gets a little bit weird if it's her snm partner all right well whatever if they're on the same team together call them what you want uh but red guardian we're going to be looking at his kit uh talking about his t4s a little bit and also and probably what you came here for is his stats so uh, we'll check it out and then just kind of give some thoughts as we go. All right, so let's check it. Bring me Wolverthor. All right, so kit, basic upgrade. Uh, it's called Soviet Slam. You attack the primary target for 280% damage and chain up to one adjacent target for 280% damage. Gain defense up. So in that regard, it's very similar to Captain America. In war, you apply defense up to adjacent allies as well, which is really nice. 25% chance to gain assist on Yelena Belova's, uh, on, from a Yelena Belova ally counterattack breaks chain. The 25% chance to assist is kind of, you'll see that throughout a little bit. I think it's kind of lame. It's nice, but 25% chance is like, it's almost irrelevant. The T4s here are an additional 60% damage, which are okay. I probably would not do that unless his damage was just insanely through the roof and I got really high reds on him. Um, but overall, it's an okay ability. You know, it's the chaining, great. You know, again, defense up. It's very Captain America-esque. It's pretty similar. And then we're looking at his uh, special and his ultimate. It's about what are you going to do first here? Uh, I, and it really depends. Um, I think there's going to be probably a clear answer. But... Um, for his special, it's called Iron Curtain. Clear one negative effect. If this character is above 50% health, you gain taunt. Otherwise, heal for 15% of this character's max health. Apply defense up to self and all allies. Again, very similar to Captain America. Heal self and all allies for 15% of this character's max health, which is really nice. Apply regen to self and all mil skill military allies. Again, you get that 25% chance to gain assist from Yelena. Uh, the T4s here is an additional uh, negative effect clear. Don't really care about that. The additional 5% heal, not bad. And then again, it's the heal self and all allies for an additional 5%. I like it there for the additional allies. That's not bad, especially if you got high reds on them and you're going to be looking for high health on this guy as far as the stats go. The heal for 5%, is it worthy of T4? Maybe. You know, will you need it? I don't know. I mean, it's not a long cooldown here. If this guy's got some battery coming to him... You know, you, you, you're going to use this more often and that 5% is going to make a bigger difference. But we'll see if that, if there's anything to actually feed him. Uh, you know, I'd love for him and Cap to actually be, you know, working together there with some energy and some defense ups all the time and taunting. Like, I could see that actually being really nice. You, you throw Yelena and you throw Black Widow on there and, I don't know, maybe Hawkeye. I don't know. That could be kind of an annoying team to deal with. Maybe you throw them on a war defense. Uh, they'll use, lose some Wave 1 Avenger stuff. His ultimate, uh, transfer one, and this is a little bit longer cooldown. The special is four, this is five. It's called Red Star. Transfer one positive effect, excluding taunt from primary target to self and all skill military allies. Attack primary target and adjacent targets for 400% damage. Apply ability block to the primary target. Again, 25% chance to gain assist. So me, you know, oh, the T4s here, you get a whopping 100% extra damage. I love that. That's a huge increase. You want that. Uh, assuming you've got, if he's got decent, uh, decent damage numbers and, uh, if you got reds on them, hundred percent damage increase is huge. So we were talking about which one to use first. You know, um, I, I like the fact that you're probably going to want to taunt with him early on to kind of keep people off of your teammates. So you're probably going to want to look at the special, but the AI is going to use the ultimate. So you got to remember that when deciding where you want to put this guy, um, you know, it's going to be weird with him and Cap on the same team because, like I said, they're both going to ultimate uh, and then they're both going to taunt. I'd rather if this guy, you know, started with one less energy on his ultimate, that'd make his AI, I think, a lot better and kind of more fun to play around with some theory crafting there. But needless to say, it's not there. So his passive, which seems to be really a, a huge, huge um, part of his kit, which I personally really like, is on spawn, gain, gain taunt and defense up. When this character drops below 50% health, if taunting, clear taunt and heal for 30% of this character's max health, gain block chance. Um, you gain a 25% block chance plus 5% per skill ally. So you'll get another 20% there for the block chance and 10% block amount. You get 
10% max health uh, for himself and skill military allies. If this character has three or more skill military allies, you get 50% focus uh, for himself and those allies. The T4s on this is where you absolutely need to have this. So I didn't read this intentionally because you need the T4 to apply speed up to all skill military allies. So that is huge for this team to work properly. You, this is absolutely essential. Without it, it doesn't make any sense. The bonus 20% health um, to get for himself and skill military is just icing on the cake for that one. It's a good icing, which is nice because, you know, 20% extra health anytime is, you know, something you might consider for a T4. This, you're 100% you're doing it because of this. You have to have that. Otherwise, he doesn't work as well. So, you know, I like when he drops below 50% health, he gets rid of the taunt and he heals himself. You know, he doesn't have any battery, uh, which can be a little problematic for having some, you know, extended durations going. It's not like he's got the auto taunt. It's unfortunate, maybe. You throw shield security with this guy and maybe get another taunt in. I, I don't know. If you're playing with D, I'm just trying to theory craft some way to put these guys on defense, but I just... Not sure I'm seeing it. So, um, but I like his kit in general. There's a, there's quite a bit of heals um, with him that keeps him alive. You know, we'll see if he's got. You want him high health, high armor, high resistance. You do not want people clearing stuff off this guy because you know he's only taunting for one turn here. You know, and it's on a four turn cooldowns. And he, right now we don't really have a battery for him. So he's got that taunt, and then after that your team's exposed. You know, Yelena she'll be stealth, but. You know, if you've got Killmonger, he's obviously got the heals going. But Punisher and um, Merc Soldier, you know, they're okay. So we'll see. That's where why it's really, I, I see this team as more of an offense-related team. You know, do we need more offense? Maybe. Um, but again, like, unless they counter on Marauders and or, you know, a, a higher team, eh. And like I mentioned in the Yelena video and some other times I've talked about this team, the Emirators are going to be way stronger than this team. This team is not expected to punch up. It's, it, it, the idea is that they're going to punch even. So, anyway, so that's let, let's enough of him. Let's jump into the stats. Okay, so for those of you who are not aware, I've got this giant spreadsheet that I rank everybody's stats in. Baseline at level 75, seven yellow star, four red, T14, 25% start tech, and passive level four. Uh, and all of this per MSF.gg. So we're starting at the top. Dr. Doom way at the top there. We scroll down, a couple spoilers here that we've already done some videos on, a couple that we have not. Uh, Yelena we just did, uh, as I was doing this today, but it, by the time you see this, it's probably been a couple weeks. Uh, or we, you know, two weeks? I don't know, some, it's been a little bit. So we're scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, and finally get to Red Guardian down here at uh, 73. Uh, so he's not, you know, you're kind of like, all right, like what's 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 the story here? Um, uh, it's not great, it's not bad, but it's not not what you want, right? So uh, it's interesting, my, 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 my rows and everything kind of get thrown off somehow there. But either way, so he's ranked 73rd in the game. Um, you know, for an average, let's see here, uh, what is that, 74? Um, you know, as we go across here, his, um, his health, as we mentioned that before, something we wanted to be ranked pretty good, it's ranked 29th. You know, that's before any buffs um, or bigger buffs. So it's kind of like, okay, that's not bad. I, I wouldn't mind it to be a little bit higher, but 218K is pretty solid. His damage is pretty abysmal. That's 116th rank. That's bad. So even that 100% increase, I think it was in his ultimate. I'm not sure I'm going to consider that because his damage is just... And, you know, you're not really bringing him around for damage. And... You know, like I said, his damage is not good. Uh, armor, ranked 27th, 11.5. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, I would have liked it. Nah, it's fine. Actually, armor's fine. Focus, you know, he did have, I think, the ability block, right? He had an ability block in there. Where was that ability block? Um, what was that in? Right? Am I crazy? I think I might be crazy. No, there it is. It's in his ultimate. So you got a, an ability block on uh the on his ultimate so you do kind of care about that a little bit you want that focus to be um a bit higher it's not but all right so hopefully that ability block lands his resistance we talked about that you wanted that to be a bit high coming in 28th so that's pretty solid um again hopefully there's some ways to get some stat boost there on i don't know if this is the final skeletary team or snm team or not but you know that's not too bad his speed is absolutely atrocious but that's not a bad thing because 
He gives speed up immediately, so that helps him go early to get that taunt, and then you want him to be slow with the taunt. You know, it's kind of like Strife. He gets an early speed bar, gets taunt, and then he just sits there for a bit. And you want him to have a high resistance so you can't clear the taunt, and then in turn, uh, just sit there and have people attack him while everyone else is doing their thing. And like I said, and then for an av so average rank there of 74, um, you know, you're looking at Human Torch, Ultimus. What's another tank in this range? Uh, Rhino. You know, so he's a little worse than Rhino. He's a little better than Kree Royal Guard stat-wise. <sighs> Doesn't feel too good, honestly. Like, just, those aren't, you know, when you get new t characters in the game, typically they power creep them a bit. I'm not really seeing it with this team. I think that, you know, this, because of the Black Widow movie, it's just getting delayed. I think it kind of probably messed up the plan for this team. I'm not sure that this is a, uh, something that's really, uh, I don't know. I'm, I, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people skip these characters, unfortunately, um, for Scopely, because I just, they don't seem to have a great use on war offense. I'm not convinced that they're going to do some great things. I think they have some potential, but unless you get really high reds on them or you really want to whale, just a whale. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people just let these guys sit there, which probably means at some point they're going to be an unlock for legendary, but we'll see. So that's what I got. Uh, I hope this video helped you decide if you want to do something with Red Guardian or not. I'm a little, uh, you know, this is okay. You know, again, I'm not convinced of the counters at this point, given how strong all the Emirators are already in the game and how much you'd have to bring all these characters up. I'd rather, I'd rather put resources into teams that I know can be, you know, a lot of different teams like x-force or the new x-factor team that's going to eventually be around so or the new maybe the astonishing x-men with bishop right or something like that i don't know so share with your alliance mates etc hammer down that like button uh discord link in the description below uh notification bell subscription uh, all that kind of stuff until next time i hope you have a wonderful day